Ifam to file a petition at Supreme Court says court affidavit submitted by Lieutenant Colonel Danabir Singh reaffirms fact encounters by Army. Veteran politician Ojoy resigns from primary membership of BJP attributes BJP government's failure in solving current state issues for his resignation. To the National Workshop come brainstorming session by ICAR aims to unleash hidden potential of mass technology in Northeast region. And Assam releases much awaited second and final NRC draft. 40 black names fail to make it to citizenship list. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Kangusam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Extrajudicial Execution Victim Families Association Manipur IFOM has reiterated to fight for justice after recent leads into fact encounters in one of the court affidavits submitted by Lieutenant Colonel Tanabir Singh. The affidavit says Assistant Publicity Secretary of Proscribed Outfit, People's Liberation Army, Guru Mayum Jiteswar, Elias Gypsy, was killed and then buried by a team of three corps at Ragapahar Army Cantonment in Dimapur in 2011. IFAM is filing a petition at the Supreme Court for an in-depth probe into the case. Addressing media person at Manipur Press Club, President of IFAM, Renu Takhalambam, asserted that the affidavit submitted by Lieutenant Colonel Danabir Singh reaffirms the atrocities meted out by security forces to the people of the state. Brother of Led Gypsy, Guru Mayum Nutun Chandra said his younger brother remained untreatable since August 18, 2011, and family members were clueless as to whether he was named by the Army or the Indonesian IM. He said a petition was filed in the High Court in this regard, after which it was declared that Gypsy was neither arrested by the Army nor the police, and hence the case was closed. Nutun Chandra said a petition will now be filed at the High Court or the Supreme Court since it was now confirmed that Gypsy was killed in a fact encounter case. Um, ไล่ดิบสิวิลโซซายตี้แมมอะดูกะอะคุยกิอะคุยมณีปุรีให้ดิบอะคุยไมเตยอะดูกะไล่ดิบจาติคุดิมะกิมีลอยนะซีอะด
He termed, unfortunate that the government turns deaf ear to resolve issues related to indo myanmar border pillar dispute, Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016, and Seventh Central Pay Commission. Joy mentioned that the country has become a lawless land under the BJP government and mocked that Prime Minister's Ache Dint is turning out into the opposite direction. The veteran politician asserted that the state is more important than the party and assured that he will independently fight to resolve the issues of the state. Meanwhile, a meeting of the members of Langtabalt BJP Mandal, including President of the Mandal, El Briza Mohan, and Vice President N. Norendro, resolved to close down the Mandal yesterday. Levaxi Kanavagi Sartagi Kanavagi Akwe Levian, Tongaf and Lepangam, the Vocarino. Madugi Mahuta, Akwe Central Leaders in the ones in May Mahuta, Praza and the ones in Laga, Pui Tok the Vadona. Ming on the Toya Lagas on the Sikam Dana, Manning Hyagas on the Sik of Pui Dona, Pui Tok the Vadona Kari, like a double of leadership. Madaida, BGP Tado Pusume, Partisiki Topusume, Levak Tugaiba, Manda, Report, Parliament, the Piba Kanda. Partisiki President Oriva, Rai Sabaki MP Oriva, Sri Babandana, Kanga Kanga Kanga, the high of Karigino, Adudam Sri Lina, busy piggy losing Bamana, City Kasukai will take in Iran Lina, Hibokaino, Arai Vola, Sumina, Lu River Tanja, Sida, busy pig the lady, losing the Saba, incompetent over. Matiti Saza double losing the Saba Kanguna, Leva Shiki Isuda, Tawina, Logdava, Tawi Usitana, Octo, Leva Kanku, Sana, Leva Mahana Bazumbra, Leva Kasi to Ainavi, Saroga. Moi yauri bra. Chinu chinu wo hang kaya lag fudegi ekoi ayak BJP. Dei tokune music lady bala ngawan kendi BJP mandal masidi. Muthale mandal sida yaram ba member puna mag BJP. Dei toe. Communist Party of India CPI is all set to launch a fortnight-long campaign across the country against four years of BJP rules at the centre from August 1. The first phase of the campaign, to be divided into three phases, will be conducted from August 1 to 14 to expose the failure and downside of Prime Minister-led NDA government at the centre. The second phase will be held from August 16 to 30 against exploitations and violations of laborers' rights, while the party members will head to New Delhi from September 11 and take out a mega mass rally along Parliament Street, New Delhi, on October 12. Addressing media person at Irawad Bhavan in BT Road, Secretary of CPI Manipur State Council, El Sutin Kumar, asserted that the economic condition of the country has drastically deteriorated in four years of Modi's government. He mentioned that Modi's Ache didn't only serves for the rich and condition of the poor has worsened. So Tinkumar slam Modi's claim that economy of the country has improved as untrue. He said instead of translating the promise to provide employment to two crore people into action, the government has left lakhs of government officials unemployed. Sotin Kumar also mentioned that there are abundant inconveniences and difficulties in agriculture and lamented that suicide rate of farmers is increasing in the country. The party secretary said Prime Minister Modi is practicing dictatorship against the constitution and taking many decisions at his own whims without consulting the cabinet and the party. He also alleged Berent led state government of inability to resolve to solve the prevailing issues of the state. Agaski Amadagina Tara Mari Fauber Sina Modi Sarkargi Zahi Mari Sasongi Fellers, C. Matangalere Agaski Tarik Taraga Tarukina Kuntra Hobbesi Sin Mi Sing the Makan Kayagi Mio Minaja Tariba Masagi Mayokta Akan Makongjangamat Mapunkiada Satagani. Mahana Lauri, Asedi Nayaga, Adu Kanagino, Senjao Pai, Mio Kuzo Omogini, Barot Kilar of Pazakro, Kayagi Punsi, the Hining Aletana, Awabe Park the Lang Tabire. Bisigi Nupi, Sasunto Bukambu, Moiran's Digi, Yamaka Mio in Hibaki the Makta, Nasimani Purgi, Satra Lissing Kayagi Punsi, Manga Dor of Havada, Sam Jamba, Bishima, Lotopungam Daba, Kashitamungam Daba, Nasigi, State Sarkar. All Jiribam United Clubs Association, Ajuka, in a press release stated that the association will fully support the 24 hours statewide general strike called by Amuko, UCM, and CCSK from midnight of July 31 to midnight of August 1 against the implementation of Article 371 to Close A in Manipur. Azuka also mentioned that Indo Naga peace process cannot affect Manipur in any way and that the people of Jiribam are prepared to counter any force which challenges the territorial integrity of the state. The association also drew the attention of the government to check the entry of migrants in Jiribam following the implementation of the NRC in Assam. 
Members of all Manipur Bar Association and Manipur High Court Bar Association stays a city in front of Jara Court today against the harassment meted out to advocate Ngangom Tis Kumar from Uripok Sinai Lekai from being a defense counsel to murder suspect Kulen Jitin. Taking part in the protest meet, advocate Ngangom Tis Kumar asserted that providing defense counsel to an individual irrespective of his crime is part of the law. He strongly condemned such attack and harassment upon advocates. He also said a PIL will be filed in the High Court of Manipur to set a protection rule for the advocates of Manipur, a rule to protect justice and legal actions against those who harass advocate Ngangom Tis Kumar yesterday. It may be mentioned that Kulen Jitint has earlier confessed to police for shooting his uncle. <laughs> Manipur le ribo okil sing se ma koi bo protect toro na ba adu ba rule lama system ma sembi na ba ma koi PIL lama high court tha na ba sem chare adu ki na matang da ai koi ki representation ma pichal laga karam ba ai na ma sem ga okil sing amadi koi judge sing se protect to buya ai ba ki wakal londa sembi na ba ma aru ai ba da ngarang ki mopta involved toro ribo channel ribo miu sing ado khudak ta phara ga ai ngu ne lokat pam thoba. Large numbers of school students today stays a sitting against the alleged negligence of doctors at Thobal District Hospital that led to the death of a boy. The boy was admitted at Thobal District Hospital after he was drowned on July 27. Various placards were displayed during the sit-in held at Newmarket in Kangabo. Protesters alleged that the boy died as the doctors on duty at a hospital were under the influence of intoxicants on the day and as such demanded to take befitting actions against the doctors. Bottle <laughs> Students of LMC Law College is a city in support of Musu's movement demanding the removal of Vice Chancellor of Manipur University, Professor Adia Prasad Pandey, today. The Student Union of the College organized a protest in front of the College Gate in Jingmairong. Various placards were displayed during the sit in. A one-day discussion on 18 October 1948, Manipur was held today. Committee of Civil Society's Kanglai Park CCSK held a discourse at Kwaketel in view of the upcoming mass meeting to be held on October 18 in commemoration of the day when democracy ruled the state. Vice President of CCSK Jitrinder Ningombam said the event was organized to discourse on the ideologies of our past leaders who whose tireless efforts brought democratic form of governance and a unified Manipur comprising of the people of both the hills and the valley. He said CCSK believes if these ideologies are imbibed by the present generation, much of the prevailing issues can be resolved. Apun bawa mani buru, mesti singgung dengan orang orang muda. Makui na mangi bawa manglan. Maru na singgung masuk tamu. Ani ke marak ta? Makui buat tak karak bawa mikal de karak bawa mayam singgung na. Makui mani buru. Ia apun betul ngam cerita. Makui lemis singgung dengan orang orang muda. Makui buat tak karak bawa mikal de karak bawa mayam singgung na. Makui lemis singgung dengan orang orang muda. Makui buat tak karak bawa mikal de karak bawa mayam singgung na. Makui lemis singgung dengan orang orang muda. Makui buat tak karak bawa mikal de karak bawa mayam singgung na. Makui lemis singgung dengan orang orang muda. Makui buat tak karak bawa mikal de karak bawa mayam singgung na. Makui lemis singgung dengan orang orang muda. Makui buat tak karak bawa mikal de karak bawa Kangen ni nampak kita mukta. Amat tam tu dah leh mas sosial gi, ekonomi gi, aduk leh ribok mayam sing dohoi na. Nai nampak matuk tay na pangtuk puni. 
One day observation on World Day Against Trafficking in Person was held at Advanced Public School Moirang today. Childline Bisnupur Collapse organized the event on the team Let's Act Now to Protect and Assist Trafficking Victims. Nodal Officer Childline IAS Nitu, District Child Protection Officer Bisnupur, and Nada Chant, OC Moirang Police Station, SI Sures, District Manager of District E Governance Society, Prasanta Oinam, and Vice Principal of the school, CH Swami Kumar, were among those present on the occasion. Speaking in the event, IAS Nitu Singh asserted that district administration alone cannot stop human trafficking. She stressed the need of major role from the youth to stop it. Students of the school reading in class 11 and 12 took part in the program. District administration cannot work in isolation, in silos. You have to be informed them about these things and you are the young, youngsters. Country is based on you. So if you are finding someone, some child or some children are not uh, attending schools or they, they have changed their behavior or some person is eloping them to attend some uh, other meetings or other things like they can pursue someone that this is very a lucrative job, you can get many things, many money and a very good job or very good lifestyle. So this can't be done. A police team including women personnel led by OC Narcotic Cell in Fort East, Inspector KH Deep Kumar sees 100 liter of liquor, country liquor from a woman today. The team conducted the drive at Kurailam Long Bazar around 1.30 this afternoon. The arrested woman is identified as Angom Ongbi Leibakle, 50 years, wife of A. Santa from Thangmiban Hizam Dewan Plekai. The woman and the seized liquor were handed over to OC Excise Department, Poram Park. Deputy Chief Minister Yimnam Joy Kumar has today launched a two-day national workshop come brainstorming session on the team unleashing the hidden potential of maize technology in Northeast region. The workshop aims to enhance maize production in the Northeast region. ICAR Research Complex for Northeast Hill Reason Manipur Center and ICAR Indian Institute of Maize Research Ludhiana jointly organized the workshop at ICAR Lung research complex in Lamfell Pot. Experts will discuss on status, option and strategy of maize cultivation in Northeast Hill regions during the workshop. Speaking to media person, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar asserted that the workshop will be highly beneficial for farmers. He lamented that maize production in the state has decreased over the years and hence such workshops are required in the state. The Deputy Chief Minister mentioned that the government has undertaken various startup policies to enhance agricultural produce in the state. He assured of efforts to introduce other policy programs in near future. ICAR representatives from Sikkim, Tipura, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram and Meghalaya are participating in the workshop come brainstorming session. Maize production hengalan by she. A culture gives the Marilla in a quick food production gi, but do a Marilla in a badu posacamani. But among the canoes, she was actually ampatan horomi, hoggy hoggy, hoggy do mum carino, carambo, chuzak, makal tara, quite a pagani, a do masi, canoe, carino, having a chimba, but do my amma discuss over the river. I do not income the masi workshop, she will repack and the day, a quim, panam, canagani, I do a masi the yoga river, low, she will get the topic to come with you, masi garam, the present tava, nomani, high in a calip, quite next time the dip. I will also speak to the it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on publication of Assam much anticipated second and final draft of the National Register of Citizens NRC today. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Primetime English News. The much-anticipated second and final draft of the National Register of Citizens, NRC, was published today with 2.9 crore names out of the total 3.29 crore applicants in Assam. 
The names of 40.07 lakh applicants did not find a place in the historic document doubted to be a proof of Assamese identity. Addressing a point joint press meet in Guwahati today, Registrar General of India Silas said it was a historic day for the country and the Assam. He said opportunity will be given to those whose names are not included in the draft today. He added the exercise is unparalleled in size. It is a legal process done under the direct supervision of the Supreme Court. The NR C will include the names of all Indian citizens who have been residing in Assam before March 25, 1971. Silas also said the process for making claims and objections will begin on August 30 and continue till September 28. Joint Secretary of the Home Ministry, Satyan Gurd, said no one will be sent to a detention camp or foreigners tribunal as already declared by the Home Ministry. State NRC Coordinator Pratik Hazela said information and reasons for non-inclusion of names in the draft list will be provided. It may be mentioned that the application process for the NRC started in May 2015 and a total of 6.5 crore documents were received from 68.27 lakh families across Assam. The first the first draft of the NRC was published during the intervening night of December 31 and January 1 this year, containing 1.9 crore names. Patriotic writers for a Manipur in a press release stated that Patriot's Day will be observed at Smart Security Service SSS, in Terra Bazaar on August 13 at 11.13. 11.30 p.m. Mathematics lecturer of Kakchin Kuno College, M. Tombi, has come out in support for the principal in charge of the college today. He asserted that S. H. Mani Tombi is serving as the principal in charge of the college to fill in the vacant post of the principal as part of the High Court of Manipur's order and the government. Tombi termed it unfortunate that a group of teachers of the college is trying to interfere in the matter. Speaking to media person at Manipur Press Club today, Tombi said that one M. Sarda filed a case regarding the post on March 19 this year. He said following the court's order on July 9, Mani Tombi started serving as principal in charge from July 25. Tombi mentioned that M. Sarda ranks 27th in the seniority list of the teaching staff of the college. He appealed to the teachers to abide by the order of the court and the government and maintain a peaceful academic atmosphere. Principal in charge Mani Tombi questioned what she has done to harm the college in her 37 years career of being a lecturer in the college. She maintained that she will even resign from being a teacher if anyone can provide evidence of any misconducts on her part. Mani Tombi said she will voluntarily leave the post as soon as the government appoints a regular principal of the college. <laughs> Lady Bakuibaki Tongan Tongan Bakutimona, upon the Pibigano, Police Gate and was fair Panaba, Academy and was fair Paganabaki Damakta, Hariba, Equigi, Insar Sasibu, Tanduletana, College of Pana Pamalaga, Aduma Administration Namaka, Quipami, Luka College da, Yakai Tinghaba Riba, Lele Sutam Dabagi Moon de Satariba, College the meeting Tatan Sataraga, Quigi, Irang Sakariba, Sumba, Quigi, Miam Shep, Masi Equi Punamana. We can't even talk to him. I'm not even sure how to understand. I'm not even talking about look. Since so, we see many things. I'm talking. But I'm not sure. We call it that. We see session how it. How many sessions did the lyrics? That number of people are from the section. That is from the Iran section. Like we say, like we have five days. We see two people. Socialist Student Union Manipur (SSUM) has banned Assam Sanskrit Board in Manipur. It also invalidated all the certificates issued by the board to 1,300 students in the state this year. The Student Union also strongly warned Bosem for not to issue any equivalent certificate to these students. Addressing media person at SSUM office in Kaisampa this afternoon, President of SSUM Sanahal Nongthombam said, Assam Sanskrit Board earlier affiliated to DM College has been backlisted by Assam government on January 18 this year. He alleged students under the board of appearing proxy examinations. He further alleged that question papers are sent through WhatsApp and some students even appear examination from home. SSUM appealed to the government to look into the matter. <laughs> Go, go, Minasu, Akan Bamijang Sanganini, Karino, Hajarakanda, Quigi, 
lising amu kasa hongi sahatra jing jigi pun si jing jing mang kadra na hai bagi jing na bala ibu degi go mena ju si aku pa in detail si tiket piraga sahatra jing jigi pun si mang dana ba koi manipur botta na tragar si biasa da koi si biasa gitu mak palam gitu na koi si gitu ya kop tak senjaro dulu loi na manipur bot kita koi go mena kamain taruga sahatra jing jigi karena mau orang dah bayar kata gi na hai go mena ju akan bami jing sangat ningi 14 meritorious COM students of Moirang Mantak in Saikot constituency who have successfully passed this year's class 10 and class 12 examination were felicitated today. Moirang Mantak Youth Club organized the felicitation program at Moirang Mantak Community Hall. Taking part in the event, social worker Tongam Santi lauded COM community for its unique identity in the world despite its small population. He encouraged the youth club to empower the community. Santi also stressed the need for proper education for success in any field and especially to safeguard and perpetuate one's community. OCs of Kaibun Lamjau, T. Sana Zawa and Sarto John Kom were among those present at the event. Gifts and mementos were presented to the students on the occasion. A sensitization come counseling program for students pursuing bachelor or vocation degree courses at the Namunjuri Community College under the National Skill Qualification Framework and SQF was held today. Speaking at the program held at DM College of Science, Managing Director of Thangjum Agro Industries Private Limited, TH Joy Kumar appealed to students to work hard to excel in their respective fields. He also appealed to focus on entrepreneurship rather than waiting for white color jobs. Infal Finance Cooperative Thrift and Credit Society Limited, an A-class society among the cooperative societies in the state, gave financial aids of 15,000 rupees to Lining Tosana Mehi Temple Board today. Managing Director of the Society, W. Gunesor, handed over the money at an event held at Sana Mehi Temple in 1st MR. Speaking on the sidelines, Gunesor said, fundraised through an entertainment program in relation to the Society's Silver Jubilee celebration was offered to Lining To. Hobi bahagai ini pal finance ki, jadi kun mengasuh bah silver jubli ga mari lena na pangtok bah dulu nama bah bahagai entertainment program dah, maya amna thabi rupa sian singa do, bahagai pal finance ki organising ki komiti na, sana mahi lain do sana mahi temple board dah, bahagai donate taurat si, hanya bahagai nuarip nama mula jawab, jadi nama ramu mereka anda bahagai pal finance ki tunggi jadi panah bidang muka bahagai manggol ni jawab ina bahagai mafam sida bahagai donate tawa laksa mana. One day campaign on the Housing for All Urban 2022 was held at Musikul in Thangmeban today. What Development Committee of the Infal Municipal Council Corporation Ward No. 1 organized the campaign at Namtaulong Community Hall. Residents of the ward with no proper houses fill up application forms of the scheme. Earlier, 1,300 beneficiaries from the ward had submitted forms for the scheme. Now the sports news. The statue of late Olympian Laurembam Broziswari was unveiled in front of Manipur Olympic Association office in Kumad Lampak today. The first judo player of the state who backed the ninth position in Sydney Olympics in 2000 was born on October 20, 1977 to L. Manglem and Taruni from Kagempali Hidram Lekai. The Olympian first underwent for judo training from coach M. Deband and attended various coaching games by enrolling at Kuman Lampa Sai Special Area Game Center. Brazeswari backed the first gold medal in of India in 1999 National Games hosted by Manipur and continued to bring laurels for the state and the country in various national and international events. The Olympian following her sports career first served as the head constable of CRPF in 1999 and was promoted to inspector in 2001. Brazeswari got married in 2011 and underwent training at CRPF Training Center, Kamboiter, for promotion in 2013, during which he 
she suffered from excruciating stomach pain. Amidst her ailing health, Brazil Sori was promoted as assistant commandant on July 21, 2013 and succumbed to her ailment during a surgery at hospital on July 23. Health Minister LJ Kumar, President of the Manipur Judo Association, Dr. K. H. Ratan Kumar, coaches and family members of the Olympian attended the event organized by El Brazil Memorial Trust. <laughs> Bronze medalists in the EP event M. Stella and P. H. Anita participant in the foil event at the Commonwealth Men's and Women's Junior and Cadet Fencing Championship were accorded one perception. The players participated under the ages of Commonwealth Fencing Federation at the championship held at Newcastle of England from July 23 till July 30. M. Stella is the daughter of M. Kora and Pazabi from Sekmai. Teachers and players of Kuman Lampak Sai Special Area Game Center and family members echoed it warmed welcome upon their arrival on the Infal International Airport yesterday. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Ifam to file a petition at Supreme Court says court affidavit submitted by Lieutenant Colonel Dalarbi Singh reaffirms back encounters by Army. Veteran politician Ojoy resigns from primary membership of BJP, attributes BJP government's failure in solving current state issues for his resignation. To the national workshop come brainstorming session by ICARMs to increase hidden potential of mass technology in Northeast region. And Assam releases much awaited second and final NRC draft. 40 lakh names fail to make it to citizenship list. 